Hello guys, welcome back to another video. Today a lot of things have changed since I made that video yesterday. Um, and tomorrow's became a much bigger threat and much better for my area for severe weather. So let's just get right into these changes. It won't be a long video, it's just going to be a quick brief update. Okay, starting on the SPC, usually I don't do that, but I'm going to just because it's a quick video. There's only like three things I'm going through. So today they moved that slight, they kind of separated it and they made a slight risk for storms, large hail storms up to the north in Nebraska through Iowa. You can see the hail chance, 15 there, 30% with it uh, enhanced down there. Wind, not very much anywhere really. And then tornado, 2%, but there is 30% wind. Wait, that's not what I meant, I didn't mean, I meant up here there wasn't very much. Down here, 30%. No, uh, that's just today. Um, uh, it says there's not a very strong inflow, mostly outflow based storms. It said they're kind of a certain type. So let's just see these ones in Iowa to move northward. Um, potential for large hail with elevated convection. So that, that's why those are going to be, that's going to be hail storms. Very large hail is the problem with all these storms really. It's not even the wind or the tornado. The tornado went down the two. It's the hail problem. That's what everybody's worried about, the large hail. So let's see tomorrow's. It expanded into northern, or a little bit mid, uh, where I live for sure. It really expanded up. 5% tornado, so that's good. They might upgrade that. I doubt it because it's slightly, they don't know yet. It's kind of maybe. Um, but it, there's something that says initial connective convective development along may pose a large hail threat um, low level flow is not forecast a couple tornadoes may occur, occur with semi discrete storms slight risk has been expanded to cover a little more northward to account for the battle model agreement in the placement of the front so it did get better and move north damaging winds should become primary threat when they congeal and they turn into a cluster slash bow so they turn into a squall line type thing later on in the day 5% tornado, 15% wind, 15% hail. Wind and hail almost the exact, but there's a little bit more on the wind. You can see that it stretches a little farther. Okay, so let's check day three. Not much going on. Just marginal, 5% chances everywhere. Uh, day four, though, is what I'm looking at. There's nothing on it, but I'm just going to read what it says. Day four, Saturday. So, medium range guidance is a good agreement that convective over Texas early develop into closed low upper low uh, lower Mississippi Valley but this is what I'm looking at the northern stream will be more active the short wave through expected northern plains on day four Sunday and upper Midwest and Great Lakes on day five Saturday before maturing so it looks like that on day um, four Saturday the northern part of like where I live it's gonna have a lot better of a chance than it did before so there's a good there's a slight chances that there'll be severe storms on Saturday for us and that could be a really good um, storm to chase and, and anything it just looks like there's a good chance right now but I don't think any of the days say per, uh, potential too low so any of these days could have it they just don't know enough yet yeah, Whenever there's not a, really a chance at all, they do potential too low. But none of them say that. They're just predictability because it's too far out. Quickly checking the national forecast charts for today. You can see that. But this this when this updates, I don't know when they update this one. I'm not sure. They don't ever say. But when they update this, it'll kind of split off and do the thing like it was before. Um, yeah, this was made at like 7.30. So this was before that next update. Tomorrow, you can see that there's that heavy rain slash flash flooding but they'll update this too that warm front is the thing that drives it to make it more severe for tomorrow and then Friday you can see that there's a slight bit of heavy rain slash flooding uh, possible otherwise there's not too much going on after that um, but today there's gonna be some good storms I saw Reed Timmer was over in Oklahoma and I know a lot of other storm chases are too just because today could be a good day and tomorrow will be a good day I'm gonna guess all right, final thing, uh, the her. So we're going to start, this is what the storms are going to look like, and then we can see as they go on, that's that one weird blob. Okay, so they start popping up in about two hours, those storms down in Texas, you see it? And then they're going to start maturing 
and then becoming more of an organized thing as they go on throughout the hours go through Oklahoma City and then there's those lines up north see that and then you can see all those and then they're starting to turn into cells and then you could see about let's see what it, what time would that be um, I think that's 18 hours from now or 18 or so hours from now I don't know it's something like that but it looks like there's some good chances for some supercells up north where I live that's our that's what I was looking at before I'm not sure what time this is it doesn't say I don't like I hate how they do the Z I wish you could change it to your own time but um, I think it's 18 hours it goes so let's see uh, um, would be 9z what right now it is 20z so uh, so that 4 5 6 7 8 9 10 11 12 1 2 3 4 5 6 7 about 8 o'clock tomorrow oops that one's out okay so they haven't made that one yet so it looks like about 7 o'clock tomorrow 8 o'clock tomorrow is when these storms will be developing and and uh, come through Iowa and stuff you'll see those these ones are pretty quick though today you can see them just pop up and then they'll go right down and then day one outlook I'll look see that's where that cell is and then it kinda just dies off right away they pop up there you go pop up right then and then go about right down they go through that perfect area and then they kinda just die off that's about all they do though there's no watches there's a watch down there Ooh, crap I need to go check that um yeah let me go check that I'm gonna go check that watch 